Hi, good evening. So this is my first uh, YouTube live streaming and I'm going to be making photo plan or uh, a native uh, merienda ng mga Pinoy. Okay? So first, we're going to have uh, the ingredients. So we're going to use six eggs. Okay? And then, next is we're going to, uh, this would be for the leche flan first, okay? For the leche flan, we have the six eggs, and we're just going to get six egg yolks. And then, one cup of this, this one is creme asada, crema asada. So, ano siya, product ng Alaska. And then, so first, we're going to separate muna yung ating uh, egg yolks and egg whites. So, we need to prepare yung bowl ninyo for the tetra plant. And then, the other one is your other bowl for the egg whites. Okay. So, of course, in separate separating egg yolks, kailangan hindi magkakaroon ng uh, egg yolk yung egg white. Kasi para ma-achieve niya yung pinaka uh, peak or soft peak, yun yung i-achieve natin later on. Okay, so dito natin ilalagay yung egg white. So, this is the first one. So, marami naman technique in separating the egg yolks and the uh, egg white. So, kung saan ka mas, mas gamay na technique, then you can do it naman. For me, I prefer to uh, separate like this. So, again, be careful na hindi malagyan ng egg yolk yung ating uh, egg white. Second. This is my first live streaming kasi. So, ayan, medyo nag-set up pa tayo. Kaya medyo natagalan. This is supposed to be our merienda. <laughs> anyway. Ayan, so. Ayan. So, this is for uh, for the leche fly. You can actually use your own recipe ng leche fly. Ang important lang naman in making the, this version of puto uh, is yung pinaka puto niya made from or pinaka main ingredients is the egg white. That's why we're going to need this egg white also. So make sure yung bowl ng egg white mo is walang so, so kailangan malinis siya yung paglalagyan mo ng egg white and even your whisk even your spatula kailangan wala siyang streaks of oil Yeah. Okay. Then this would be your for the plan. So 
So, one cup of creme asada into your bowl of six egg yolks. So, when mixing this one, kailangan uh, may incorporate lang together yung both ingredients. So, others would put uh, citrus to balance the sweetness. But as for me, right now, hindi ko siya lalagyan ng citrus. I would just uh, stay as it is, itong uh, flan na to. So, do not create too much bubbles on your leche flan. Kasi when you cook your leche flan, na sobrang mababble siya, uh, during your mixture pa lang, uh, magkakaroon ng utas-utas yung pinaka-flan mo. Okay, and then we're going to strain this one. Sa pag-strain naman ng leche flan, kailangan yung pinakagagamitin mo na uh, strainer is very fine para at least masasala niya talaga ng gusto, yung mixture. So this would help na malesen yung bubbles na na-create mo during your mix mixing and also mawala din yung mga bubuo from uh, from the end. Okay. So, yan. Okay. Ah. okay. So, this would be your plan. Ito yung pinaka-plan. And then, we're going to proceed with the dry ingredients naman. So, for, for the egg... For the egg yolk, uh, egg whites, okay, rather. Uh, kailangan natin lagyan siya ng pinch of cream of tartar. At least matulungan din siya na uh, ma-reach niya yung pinaka-peak na gusto natin. So, we're going to uh, do this one we're going to put this one now in the uh, stand mixer and then para mas, uh, I mean, while introducing you with the other ingredients, uh, napopore na to. Later, papakita ko sa inyo yung pinaka soft tea na kailangan natin with this uh, budo mixture from this egg white. Okay. So, ito muna from our uh, egg white mixture. Can you view? Mas malaki. So, start with the low. Okay. Tapos, in-need natin. Huwag natin bibigla ay na medium agad. Then, uh, what we're looking in here is that uh, kailangan mag-foam muna siya before we're going to add the one-fourth cup of white sugar. So, inaantay natin mag-foam before adding the one cup of white sugar. Okay. So, nag-start na siya mag-foam. Okay. 
So, pag ina-achieve yung foam niya, ipagka-foam niya, kailangan wala nang, wala kayong makikita ng liquid. So, as you can see, yung pinakagitna niya, medyo may liquid pa. So, we're just going to wait na mawala yun and then we're going to add one more cup of sugar. So, yan. So, we're going to add na. So, pag add naman ng sugar, kailangan dahan-dahan lang. Huwag bibiglain. There. And then, medium muna for about a minute. And then, we're going to switch into high. Important that you don't get over mixed with this one. So this will take about two to three minutes, depending on the kind of use and mixture. Just to check, okay, kasi yung iba, dito mostly nagkakamali or nag-over na yung kanilang bag. Okay. Just to check, so wala pa, hindi pa siya, hindi, hindi pa niya na-reveal yung pinaka uh, soft feet na hinahanap natin. Okay. egg white mixture natin. Okay. Next would be the dry ingredients. Okay. So this one is one and uh, one half cup of all-purpose flour. So dapat nakasift yan. Okay. And then we're going to add the four uh, tablespoon of cottage buttermilk. So, nagbibili ito sa mga baking supplies sa store. So, for me kasi, uh, I once used this one and uh, yung case niya, very nice. So, kailangan ko lang din siyang isip. Na, can you get me the water? Yung maligong lang yung water. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
So, pag, pag samasamahin lang natin yung ating uh, dry ingredients. Okay, and then this one is one fourth salt. And then one tablespoon of baking powder. And then one half cup of white sugar. Then we're going to make a well in the center para malagay natin yung uh, 3 fourth cup ng water. Uh, not cup, yes. Cup. So this is just uh, warm water, you know. One more, please. Yeah. Another one for you. So this would be your flour mixture naman. Then we're going to put na yung pinaka egg white natin. So what I'm doing is pinagahalo ko lang, minimix ko lang yung pinaka, yung egg white at saka yung flour mixture. Dito, uh, hand whisk na lang yung gamit ko. So, hindi na akong gumamit ng uh, ng uh, hand mixer. So, ito lang, pinaka hand whisk. So, this would be your puto mixture. So, yun na siya. So, kailangan yung ingredients, yung uh, dry, tsaka yung egg white, eh, thoroughly mix, pero do not create too much bubbles. Okay? Ayan. Okay, so, to assemble naman, okay, just pack this up on there. At the piece, can you, can you put that away na? Ah, uh, here, here. 
Where's the tissue? Ano? Okay, so this would be our plan. Okay, this would be our photo mixture. Okay, tapos, ito na yung mga nilagyan natin. So, I'm going to make a um, photo plan using the, the small one. Okay, meron namang medium. But I'm going to uh, make this one later. So we're just going to start with the medium. Uh, with, with the small. Okay. So naka-prepare na ako dito with uh, the steam. Okay, pakita ko lang. Go! Go! At that means... So you... Pag nag-steam kayo, you need to put cloth dito sa pinakatakit. Tapos, talagang steam lang. Hindi dapat uh, kumukulo yung tubig, okay? Kailangan, naka-steam lang siya. Kasi pag kumulo, kumukulo yung tubig, when you put the uh, plan, makukutok-kutok siya. Okay? So first, of course, uh, you need to put, or you need to grease, Okay? Do not put too much, okay? You just need to grease, na lightly grease, yeah, lightly grease lang. I'm using a uh, golden crown, uh, refrigerated margarine, okay? So, you can use butter naman, okay? So, kailangan lahat ng yung uh, gagamitin na molders ay merong, uh, meron siyang, butter. Okay? There. Then, you can put like one teaspoon ng leche flan. Since maliit lang kasi siya, so one teaspoon of leche flan will do. Ayan. Pwede mo pang kontiin, pwede mo pang uh, taasan ng bahagya para at least hindi siya nag-overflow. Nag okay? So, it's up to you kung gano'ng kakapal yung pinaka-plan na gusto mong ilagay. But for me, uh, one teaspoon would be enough. Yan, ganito siya karami. Okay. Almost half, pero hindi half talaga. Almost lang. Uh, then, of course, kailangan ready na yung inyong steamer para hindi na kayo mag-aantay. Kailangan na-start nyo na siyang pakuluan yung water, tapos we just let it steam. At least, hindi siya ganun kumukulo. The uh, blue one, the blue one. Okay. So, yan. Antin lang muna natin siya. So, yung pinaka-puto mixture niya is ganito siya. Ayan. Ganyan siya nagpuklaw. So, ang hinala pala natin kanina, it's not that, um, uh, Softy ka, yung ganyan. Ganyan ang tura. Yung hinahalap natin for the egg whites. Okay, okay so, uh, you you have to wait like 2-3 minutes para dun sa plan. It depends on the steam na pinaka-cut uh, mo. Do not open Kasi uh, doon magkikreate din ang bubbles with your plan. And then uh, magkakaroon siya ng uh, moisture dito sa pinakatakit. Tapos magdidrip yung moisture na yon doon sa ginagawa nyo na nasa loob. So you wanna make sure na hindi kumukulo talaga yung pinakapot ninyo, pot of uh, secret water. Of course, you have to 
uh, do that one uh, pinakauna, okay? Para at least alam niyo na kung gaano yung steam niya, kung gaano yung buga ng steam niya. Okay? Yan. So, recap lang ako nung ating ingredients. So, what I put in here for the plan, um, six egg yolks with one cup cream tema asada ng Alaska. And then, uh, the other one naman for the photo mixture, what I have here is one and one half cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of cottage buttermilk powder, or you can experiment using other powder, basta uh, full cream yung makrema siya, yung sarap siya. Yan. And then, take cup of water or warm water. And then, for the egg white naman, of course, six egg whites. So, walang patapon because you use the six egg yolks here. So, your egg white, six egg whites plus the one-fourth cup of sugar. And by the way, I forgot the sugar. Another uh, one-half cup of sugar in the Pluto mixture. Aside pa dun sa one-fourth cup of sugar sa egg white. And a pinch of cream of tartar. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, if you miss the ingredients, I'm going to put it naman dun sa ating uh, description box. So, depend this sa steam ninyo, okay? Kung gano'ng kalakas yung steam. But of course, yung level kasi ng steam, hindi dapat gano'ng kalakas. Okay? So, we just need to wait a little further. Kahit konti lang kasi yung plan, medyo yung steam ko kasi hindi siya gano'ng kalakas eh. So if you want to know more of my classes, you can visit XYZ Cakes Facebook uh, Facebook page. And also, of course, homebakers.biz, okay? You can uh, check out Edu Educators menu there. Tapos makikita niyo yung mga uh, classes ko doon uploaded in my uh, profile there. Sa homebakers.biz. And then, please like our page, homebakers.biz, and also the XYZ Cakes Facebook page. Yeah, so I'm going to give more and more lessons uh, in this coming days. So I schedule ko lang yan and then I'm going to announce. And then uh, this is uh, the first na ginawa ko live in YouTube. <laughs> okay? Kasi I usually uh, do live streaming sa Facebook. No? Okay. Medyo ma mahina talaga yung steam ko eh. Kasi, uh, with, with the steam that you have, of course, dun yung mas maganda, mas makinis. Diba? Walang bubbles yung ating plan. And, all, and of course, with your puto. Yan. Okay. So, remember lang, huwag kang mag-over ng paglagay ng butter on your mold. Okay? Hindi kailangan na masyadong maraming butter. For the costing naman nito, actually, you can sell it like around uh, 150 for one dozen or 12 pieces na ganitong kaliliit. And then, yung packaging niya, of course, nasa 8 pesos lang naman. So, clear packaging para at least talagang uh, native na native yung pagtaka gawa ng or, I mean, naked na naked itong puto. Yeah. If, if you're going to sell it. No? So, for more recipes naman, you can check out homebakers.biz slash recipes. So, there are uh, 
recipes being shared from our home bakers and also from some of our chefs. Naka-share din doon sa ating website. Okay. So, so, medyo lalakas ang kulay niyo sa steam ko. Kasi kanina pa siya nag steam lang. Eh. So, medyo nawala na yung pinakainit niya. Okay. Ayan. So, if you have questions, you can actually message me naman. Or, uh, you can watch over ulit itong ating video para masundan nyo from the beginning. Okay. So, what else? You can check out my other videos, uh, more of fondant. And then, uh, there's one crusting buttercream icing for those uh, who wanted to take on buttercream under their fondant cakes. Kasi usually, uh, I mean, nowadays, ganache na yung ginagamit. But then, if you want to try the, the other one, the crusting buttercream icing, I use that one underneath my fondant cakes. So, you can check out my other videos in my channel. So, first time I used also this um, electric uh, stove. But if you're going to use your uh, gas stove, of course, you can even see yung pinaka-apoy niya kailangan na sa medium-low lang siya. Okay, so while we're waiting, talagyan ko lang yun ng plan itong mga molds. Lagyan ko ng plan, lagyan ko ng butter. Ayan. Or at least later, lagyan na lang tayo na lagay. So, this one, again, is one teaspoon. Makakagawa ka from this recipe, like around uh, five, four to five, actually. Four to five dozens. So, ang dami na. If you're going to times it to 150, malaki na rin yung profit na makukuha mo. Very easy to make, and uh, yung ating mga ingredients, dyan lang. Readily available, even as uh, supermarkets, like that. Oops. Okay. So, since uh, medyo maliit kasi siya, so, yan, as in, madami ka na, super madami ka na magagawa. So, yan. Naluluto na yung plan. Medyo, isipin nyo, parang ang tagal naman yata maluto yung plan, no? Kasi, even maliit lang siya, uh, hindi ko napasin ng gusto yung ating uh, pot. No? So, we just need to wait. But, uh, sa pangalawa, sa pangatlo, you just need to wait, wait like, Two, three minutes, and then it's done. Tapos, lalagyan mo na yung pinaka puto mixture mo. Okay. 
Yung plan nyo, you will know, naluto na yung plan nyo when you barely touch it. Okay? Yung buo na siya. Okay? And wala na siyang liquid. So, kapag ganyan na, okay? Nakito. Okay? Pag ganun na yung plan nyo, you can start actually cooking your puto mixture. Like one minute pa. Medyo if you firm ko pa yung pinaka plan niya. And then the rest, mabilis ko ito mamaya. Okay. Okay, there. Oh, your camera now. Yes. Yeah. So, right there. Okay, directly after here. Hindi naman ganun kainit yung skin para mapaso kayo. Here, you can put like one teaspoon ulit ng, one teaspoon naman ng ating puto mixture. So, as you can see, hindi ko, hindi ko muna siya kinarouded yung ating pot. Kasi, uh, kanina, medyo matagal yung steam niya. No? So, kaya, hindi ko dinamihan muna yung paglagay ng ating uh, puto mold. So this time, we're, we're going to wait like about four to five minutes. So kung mabilis naman siya, then we'll see. We'll check like three minutes. I can check it naman. Tapos natakpan lang natin siya ulit. Then we're just going to wait. Um, in some cases, kapag yung iba, nakakaranas like, bakit hindi yung malasa yung puto nila or bakit malubog yung puto nila? Well, then, it's because of your baking powder. Okay? Uh, mostly, uh, nagkakaroon ng problem with the baking powder kasi. Okay. So, we're just going to wait. Para makita natin uh, na umalas na yung pinaka puto niya. So, of course, while waiting, you can check your phone, you can see your other, you can do other things muna. But of course, do not forget naman na meron ka nakasala. I will write in the description box yung ating 
uh, full recipe and also the link uh, where you can share. Uh, you can share. Okay, what link you can share for this photo plan? Okay. I'm excited to see it. I'm just. Nagisnik ako. <laughs> Pero it, it shouldn't be. So, kailangan na. Uh, Antingin muna natin siya. Na for about 3 minutes. And then we're going to check. So, antingin na natin. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's about two minutes already. Okay. Can you please show in the camera what is going on in two minutes and so? There. Okay. So as you can see, right now, maluto yung ating pinaka puto. Okay. Yeah. So at first, kung kung gamay niya na, like for how many minutes you you have to wait, then in the next a uh, few rounds, alam niya na kung kailan siya bubuksan at kailan niya siya ito siya. So as far with one, since electric stove yung gamay ko nagiging imbalance then yung ating control with the steam. But if you're going to use your gas stove, then alam mo na na steady yung pinaka apoy niya. Okay? So, we're just going to wait like a minute and then we'll get back. Two seconds left, and we'll check now. So, yeah, and since this is my first ever live video <laughs> in YouTube, talagang kailangan iset ko talaga using my desktop. So, hopefully, makapag, makakuha ko ng 1,000 subscribers so that I can use easily yung mobile phone. Kasi, pag wala daw sa 1,000 subscribers, then I just need to um, set up using my desktop, my web camera, yun. So, medyo ano rin siya, no? But of course, with, uh, because of phone beakers na gusto matuto, then we will proceed. Mas accessible kasi for uh, in public yung YouTube kesa sa Facebook. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, viewing the camera. This one. This is now our first batch of puto. Ow. <laughs> okay, there. So, mahinit siya. Okay, so, I'm gonna need to have a um, plate, please. Then, we're going to take it out. Okay, plate. Get me a plate. Then, we will show them. Okay. okay, so this is our first batch. So, konti lang yung ginawa ko muna. And then I'm going to put the rest of the molds inside. Meron na siyang one teaspoon of flan. 
since nakapag-create na rin ng steamy itong ating uh, pot, okay na yung steam niya. We're just going to wait for about 2 minutes to make this batch. Okay. Then, let me show you our finished product with this one. So, kahit medyo mainit pa siya, we can easily take this one out. There. Okay. So, madali siyang tanggalin kung merong uh, merong butter. Okay. Butter or margarine, madali siyang matanggal. So, kung, ma kung mapansin nyo na maraming butas-butas yung inyong plan or even your puto, that's because of how you steam your puto. Okay? Hindi kasi dapat malakas yung steam niya. Okay? Oops. So, nasagi ko siya. Pakainin ko na lang siya dito. So, nasagi ko yung isang plan. Yan. So, as you can see, firm naman yung ating pagkagawa ng plan. There. Okay? So, it's firm. And then, with our pupo, mainit pa siya. There. Okay? So, we're going to cut this one. With, uh, there. Mm. So, the put is perfect. The plan is perfect. Now, I can proceed with the rest of the mixture. Okay. Right. Ate, you try this one. Nasagi ko yan eh. Mmm. This is so nice. Okay, so, if you want na mag-firm pa talaga yung inyong plan, or even your puto, you can sim it a little bit longer. It depends on how far you want to go. You want it to go. But then, this one for me is perfect. So, malambot siya. Masarap siya. And even in this recipe, you know, the very good thing in this recipe is that I discovered myself, ako mismo yung uh, gumawa, nag-formulate itong recipe na to, even if you put it inside your refrigerator, pag nilabas mo siya, kahit over na siya sa ref mo, malambot pa siya, kinabukasan. Super lambot pa rin niya. So, walang nagbago. Okay? So, thanks for watching, and then, uh, please keep coming back on my channel for a new update. Uh, hit the bell button para at least uh, ma-update kayo sa mga new uploads ko, sa mga new tutorials ko. And also, uh, please do uh, share my, my page, I mean, XYZ Cakes, my homebakers.biz, and also my uh, new YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!